He's called the greatest coach who ever lived, the inventor of the modern game of football. Of course, we're talking about Paul Brown, and guess what? He's got his own museum. It's a one-tank trip. When people hear the name Paul Brown, they think of the Cleveland Browns because they were named after him. They think about that and really nothing much else about him. But here in Massillon, his name has a greater impact on the people who live here and the people who love the Massillon Tigers. A short drive down I-77 into Stark County, you'll find the Massillon Museum. And inside is a space dedicated to the one and only Paul Brown. Brown actually played quarterback for the Massillon Tigers in the 1920s and then went on to play quarterback for the University of Miami in Southern Ohio. 1932, he was lured back to his hometown where he was hired as the head coach of the Massillon Tigers. Brown coached here in Massillon from 1932 to 1940 where he amassed a record of 80 wins, 8 losses and 2 ties. He also led the Tigers to 6 straight state championships and 5 national championships with his 1940 team being considered one of the best high school football programs in history and in fact we have the game ball from the 1940 Massillon Tigers Kent McKinley state championship game right here. 1941, Paul Brown left the Tigers and went on to coach the Ohio State Buckeyes and in fact led them to the school's first national championship that was in 1942. 1945, Brown was hired as the coach of Cleveland's new AAFC League team and after a plain dealer poll it was decided that the team bear his name, the Cleveland Browns. Under Paul Brown's coaching leadership, he took the Browns to nine championships in ten years where they won six. Not only was Paul Brown an incredible coach, he was an innovator. Many of the changes he brought to the game continue today. Paul Brown's many innovations include the playbook, game film, messenger guard, draw play, and the radio helmet receiver, which was first used by quarterback George Ratterman in 1954, and the permanent face mask on helmets. 1961, New York businessman Art Modell bought the team. He and Coach Brown butted heads constantly due to management styles, and in 1963, Modell fired him. Paul Brown went on to coach and ultimately become part owner of the Cincinnati Bengals, and today his son still owns the team. Sadly, Paul Brown passed away on August 5th, 1991. Fortunately, his legacy still lives on at the Maslin Museum, where we have free admission Tuesday through Sunday, we also have accessibility for all, and we also have many different dynamic exhibits that bring art and history together. And the best part is, it's just a one tank trip. David Moss, Fox 8 News.